G'day Sagittarius, welcome to TJ Terra Down Under. Going to do the love energy coming towards you as that now. See what's going on, hey? So this is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate at all, check out your other placements or check out my playlist and see if something resonates for you there. Alright, let's go. Give me three cards for the love energy coming towards Sagittarius, please. And what I mean by the love energy... If someone's thinking about you in a loving way and their energy is being projected towards you. And that's what I'm picking up on. Um, basically what they're thinking and what their intentions are. Okay. Let's get the clarifiers. <laughs> Okay, clarify card number one, please. Um, all the decks are pre-shuffled and are listed below in the description box in the order that I'm using them, in case you're interested in what these decks are. Card number two, please. Clarify. Thank you. And card number three. start. Oh dear, codependency addictions are affecting their romantic life. So they've got something that they're codependent on here. Ace of Swords is the truth. They're addicted to the truth. Seeking the truth, finding the truth, wanting the truth. I'm hearing not even little white lies. Obsessed with the truth. Hmm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's good to be, um, want the truth. But it's a bit of an obsession with the truth. Hmm. Okay, express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. They've obviously been lied to. They know, yeah, so that's like, yeah, they're obsessed with not, that everything has to be up front. Everything has to be the, the one, no, the truth. Okay, express your love. Page of Wands, flirting, okay, and Nine of Swords. Flirting's a nightmare. Passionate words does their head in. Well, they can't, hmm, they can't sleep at night, hands in their head, head in their hands, can't sleep at night, worrying about how to express love, because passionate communication is not easy for them, okay, hmm, and they don't want to just be flirting with you, that's a nightmare, they want to express love, but they can't work out how to express it. What is that chipper chopper doing? <sighs> Helicopter hanging around. Annoying. Alright, wedding. This situation involves marriage. Ooh. I think they want proper commitment here. Two of Wands. Not sure what action to take. Knight of Cups. But they want to show you actions of love. So they're not sure how... Uh, they want this world with you. They want this world with you and that you're the one they've chosen. They want to have this world with you. And they want to show you actions of love. Okay. That's all. That, that's it. That's all it's saying. You're the one they want commitment with. They want to have this world with you. And the action, they've chosen the action they want to take and that's showing you love. But uh, this has got me worried. I mean, not saying that you're, you're going to tell them lies. 
but the, the, oh, freak. The, there's an obsession about it. It could be like it could be even like you're saying, oh, saying somebody's dress looks nice, and then you walk away and go. You know, oh, you look pretty today, like, or they, someone says, oh, do you like my new haircut? And you're like, oh, yeah, it looks really cool. And then you walk away and go, oh, my God, what did they get done? That They can't even handle that. You know, the white lies that you say to um, be nice to people. <laughs> like, not hurt people's feelings. Um, yeah, they're a bit obsessed with the truth. Or it could be just wanting to know the truth about all the things that are hidden from us. <laughs> I'll say no more. <laughs> okay. What else can you tell us about this love energy coming towards Sagittarius? Three cards, please. It could just be a truth seeker. Um, obsessed with seeking the truth. A truth seeker. You know. We do get told a lot of things that aren't true, don't we? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Well, there we go. I said all the decks are listed below, didn't I? And pre-shuffled? Yeah, I'm sure I did. Come on. What are you doing? <sighs> Thank you. Yeah, they could be a truth seeker. Obsessed with finding out the truth. <laughs> okay, card number one in the second row. Clarify, please. And that helicopter needs to boot off. Oh, I flipped the wrong one. <laughs> oh, well, that's all right. Card number two, please. Clarify. Sort of a bit appropriate with that truth seeking. <laughs> Alright, cut number three, let's stick to romance. <laughs> okay. Oh dear. Okay. So we have <laughs> Darkest Fears, that's a Nine of Swords. Ooh, yeah, Nine of Swords twice. Yeah, I uh, forgot to mention this deck here, this green deck, it's meant to be a tarot deck. It's tarot of the heart or something like that. But it only goes up to nine. It doesn't have court cards and some of the thing. I get some of the colours mixed up too. But the energy knows I go by what's written here, not so much by what it matches with the tarot because sometimes it doesn't. Because, like I said, there's only nine. So, darkest fears. Their darkest fears. Ooh, Ace of Swords. What the truth is. Finding out those tr those truths. Their darkest fears. Knight of Cups. Again. Ace of Swords again. Six of Pentacles. And the Queen of Pentacles. Ooh, Okay. So the darkest fears is finding out the truth. Well, finding out the truth is <laughs> what they fear the most. See, the truth is they do want to show actions of love, have a balanced connection, and have something that is stable and loving and committed here. But why is that their darkest fears? I think it relates more to this Nine of Swords. They're up all night thinking about it. But, yeah, saying what I said, <laughs> going by the words, darkest fears, is the truth. Well, like I said, it could be the truth in this world when you want to have show actions of love and have a balanced connection with love and stability and commitment. Hmm... 
the truth is, mm, yes. Okay, I hope this video goes through okay. <laughs> Alright, so this is meant to be one of the major arcana rebuild. 16. Oh, that would be the tower, I think. Is the tower 16? Oh, look, it says rebuild. I've got to check. I've got to check. Um, does this deck have the... No, this deck doesn't have the numbers on it. Let's try this deck. Alright. Oh, this one doesn't have... Oh, yes, it does. I think it's the tower. I know I should know this, but I had a week off last week to recharge and just clear my energy a bit from the madness. Um... And like I said, I haven't used this deck in a long time. <sighs> Come on, where are you, butter? Hmm? No. Oh, it's right down the bottom, of course it is. Or I've missed it. There it is, the tower. Yep, 16. Should have trusted myself. Oh dear, should have trusted myself. Okay, so it's the tower, but it's rebuild. So there's something they want to rebuild. The standing stone, which is justice. <laughs> the five of swords. Hmm. And the two of pentacles. So they want to rebuild a life with you that's balanced that's just see there's that truth again something real something balanced something that's just you know the justice in the world from all the lies manipulations head games sabotage find that balance with someone Yeah, I mean, it could just be that somebody lied to them. Someone played mind games and they're looking for something, rebuilding themselves with something that's more balanced. Something that's fair is what I'm hearing. Something that's fair. A fair relationship. Where there's no lies, no mind games, no manipulation, no sabotaging. Their fears are that they won't find it. And observe 12. <laughs> I think this is the hangman. <laughs> I'm really sorry. <laughs> Do I have to look it up again? I, I'm just going to say it's a hangman. Look, observing things from a different perspective because they've got upside down people. <laughs> I presume it's right. <laughs> Do I have to look it up? Do I have to? <laughs> I'll look it up. <laughs> Just for everybody's peace of mind. I'm sure it's the hangman. Alright. <laughs> I'm sorry, Sagittarius. <laughs> I'm really sorry. <laughs> I really shouldn't have used this deck. <laughs> I need to get more familiar with it. Maybe I need to use it more often. Alright, where's this hangman? I'm sure it's the hang. There it is. Hangman 12. Yes. See. I need to just trust myself. Okay. And there it is, the Oak King. And it's got 12 on it. I should have just flipped this card over. The Hangman. With the Hangman. And the Four of Swords. Yeah, they have a different perspective on life and love. A total, a, yeah, a very different perspective. They want peace. Things need to be healed and there needs to be peace. Look how peaceful that is. <sighs> yeah. They have a different perspective on the world. Yeah, truth and peace. Well, it's fine if people do the right thing, but... <laughs> Yes, crazy world we live in here, this existence on this plane. 
All right, what's at the bottom here? Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Okay. And what's under that? Getting to know each other. So I think they'll be able to... There's something that they need to heal within themselves because I think whatever it is that's hurt them, the lies, the... They're rebuilding after they thought something was true and it wasn't. So they're healing from that. I think that once they get to know you, they'll explain that situation. It's at the bottom. Yeah, Seven of Cups. Yeah, the confusion, the illusion, the... <sighs> being played the fool. Yeah, that's what they're healing from. The confusion, the illusions... And being played the fool. That's why they're so persistent and obsessed with they've got to know the truth. Okay. Eight of Swords, helpless and hopeless. Yeah, because something made them helpless and hopeless. They gave up hope. And the darkest fears are that they aren't going to get the the truth and love and a balanced connection and commitment. The harvest, which is um, judgment, the second chance. Yeah. Four of Wands, that's something stable. Yeah. They do want to give another chance to finding something stable with someone, but... I think they've got major trust issues here because of what's been done to them in the past. They're obsessed with knowing the truth. They want to know the truth because they've been hurt by someone who they thought was just and was telling the truth, but it was just all mind games and manipulation. So they're having to rebuild and find that... And they got juggled as well. They want to rebuild something that is balanced. The fear of committing to somebody who isn't isn't telling the truth. <coughs> They've got a totally different perspective on love. They're looking for something peaceful. They're not looking for all the drama and the excitement and the. They want something peaceful. All right. What would this love energy like to say to Sagittarius, please? Whoa, it's gone on the floor. And that one, that one, and the one on the floor. Yeah. Okay, we have... I just want to be single. I think they feel that way. If they, you know, if they can't have something that is peaceful, that is truthful and honest, that is real, they'll just stay single. Ooh. Expressing love with flirting and the games, I mean, you know, the mind games. Well, it is. Love is a game. I think they just see that as a nightmare. They know what they want. They've chosen the world that they want and it's actions of love and that's what they want to commit to. Someone who wants the same as them. I suppose their darkest fears is they, they get all of this and then it turns out they're rebuilding. Well, it's all a lie, is it? <laughs> I'm afraid you will reject me. Yeah, that's right. They, they're they afraid that they're going to rebuild something here and then it turns out it's not true. I want you back. They want to they wanna feel that they can trust someone again. That's what they want back. They can have this peaceful connection with someone who sees things the way they do. And I'm waiting for an apology. Hmm. That's interesting. (sighs) 
Perhaps they're waiting for an apology from whoever manipulated them, but I think they just need to move on from that. But, hey, if they want to wait for an apology, that's up to them. Um, yeah. Or maybe they want to apologize, they're waiting to apologize to you for perhaps being a little bit harsh is like, you know, wanting to everything up front, tell the truth and, you know, maybe a bit forceful about it. They are quite codependent on the truth. Maybe they would, would like to apologize for that. It's at the bottom. I'm not good enough for you. Okay. Someone made them feel that they weren't good enough as well. And they don't want to go through that again of feeling not good enough. They see things in a different way. Yeah. Feeling they're not good enough and then losing someone. Because lying was easier than telling the truth. Like someone was lying to them rather than telling them the truth. And I hope you can forgive me. And that's more directed at you. Can you forgive them? Because they've dealt with people that lied and didn't tell the truth. And they ended up losing from it and feeling not good enough. So they don't want to... So they're obsessed with knowing the truth. Because they don't want to ever put themselves in that position again. <coughs> okay, alright, this is a bit of a doozy one, but I understand where they're coming from. It's just, yeah, it's, I feel they're coming a bit, with the codependency being on the truth. Like, everybody wants the truth, nobody wants to be lied to and be played, you know, head games, manipulation... All that sort of stuff. Nobody wants that. But to be codependent on it, addicted to it, having to know that everything is the truth, looking at... Yeah, that's something they definitely need to heal here. Which they will once they get to know you and know that it is safe to love you because they can open their heart to you because you are telling them the truth. You're being honest with them. Then they'll be able to release that past energy of the player that person that played them. Wow, it's it's all there, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. But I think they're going to be a little bit abrupt at first. All right, Sagittarius, that's your reading. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And thanks for watching. All the best. Take care. Good luck. And I'll catch you later.